Minister of Sports Development earlier today, hosted the media to a brief at the of, on sports development in the country. Trust TV's correspondent at Denny Ajishafi has more on this. In a bid to highlight some of the development in the sports sector in Nigeria, Minister of Sport Development, Senator John Owa Eno, hosted the media to a press briefing at the media center of Mushuda Biola Stadium, Abuja. The minister acknowledged the media for honoring the call for the briefing and the tremendous work they do by promoting sports in Nigeria, an event that had the National President of Sport Rights Association of Nigeria, Benjamin Isaiah, and Director of Press Ministry of Sport Development in attendance. To underscore what the ministry have been about since coming on board, Enon read out various achievements, including the 13th African Games in Ghana, where Nigeria won 47 gold, 33 silver, and 41 bronze with a total of 121 medals, to come second behind Egypt on the medal table. Points now the heroic performance of the likes of Omalara Ogumakijo in the 4x4 miss relay, outrunning her opponent in the final leg to win gold. Swimming and handball won medals which Nigeria has not won in decades. Also having six wrestlers, three boxers qualify for Paris Olympics and more. Sport Minister said periodic briefing on the progress in sport development in Nigeria will be in existence henceforth. On the assumption of office, we conducted a situational analysis of the sports sector to better understand the problems and challenges in the sports ecosystem. And in define and aggregating the opportunities by having extensive stakeholders engagement meetings. While answering questions from the media, the minister said the call for the hosting of the Commonwealth Games is now very loud, considering the fact that no African nation has ever hosted the Commonwealth Games, with the hope that an African nation will be able to host it soon. Nigeria will begin to prepare early, ahead of future events like Olympics, Paralympic Championship, and all international events. On winning bonuses, the ministry is working on remuneration of the remaining set of bonuses to the African Games athletes as the first set have been paid while making sure the athletes are rewarded accordingly. Now the subsequent ones, we also got to a point as a ministry, in which we had to sit back to be able to get the entire, the, the overall tally. Right? And this was only achieved at the end of the games. How many medals are we looking at? How many goals? How many silver? How many bronze? On what anti-doping agency issue, the minister explained further. I will try, you know, to be very quick at it. If we didn't make the move that we did, we declared a dispute. I understand that if that ban had come, Nigeria would not have gone to AFCON. And you can imagine how bad it would have been for our country. As Team Nigeria athletes prepare ahead of the Olympics, efforts are in place to make sure they have a better outing, both in welfare and reward, to boost their performances at any sporting event. 